Washington Wizards as Chris Webber and Jawan Howard not expected to play so Harvey Grant all of a sudden pressed into service but the Warriors may be a chance to steal the win as it will be the Washington Wizards taking on the Warriors tonight here at the new arena in Oakland. Bob Finier back at the new arena in Oakland ready to start the second half of the season. The starting lineups being announced and a very different look to the starting lineups for both ball clubs as Rod Strickland and Calvert Cheney a familiar backcourt but Tracy Murray and Senator in 1987 with Seattle. For the Golden State Warriors, a very different look at the starting line. Of Tony Delk, second start of the year. No Bimbo Coles. Dwayne Farrell, his second start of the year. No Brian Shaw. Danielle Marshall, Joe Smith, and Eric Dampier. It's Danielle Marshall. They threw over the top, and that's twice now the Warriors have had success on a mismatch. Tracy Murray shoots the three right sideline, dropped it in softly. Short, three on two Washington break. Terry Davis is a shot put, missed the layup, but Tracy Murray there to follow it in or Terry Davis, and that's got to be an area the Warriors look to exploit as they trail by one, 21-20, under three minutes. Two fouls, Dwayne Farrell, two fouls. Those are the only four fouls committed by the Warriors. Still listening on KNBR 68, a simulcast. And here pass, the Warriors have committed their fourth turnover. Washington with four as well. 23-20 Wizards with Strickland holding at the top of the key. There's a mismatch inside. Tracy Murray spins over Tony Delk and drops in the 15-footer. And so Murray with 11, Strickland with 10. They Between the two, Murray and Strickland. Tony Delk on the left sideline. And Donald Foyle showed Harvey Grant the ball, and he just picked his pocket and took it away. Rod Strickland into the front court, down low. Tracy Murray, and they're clicking as he dunks it home. And the Wizards move up seven now, 27-20, after the back and forth. Bob, just like you talked about on KNBR last night on our Warriors Weekly Roundtable show, we're, we're seeing Todd Fuller, we're seeing Adama Foyle, we're seeing Tony Delk, and we see Tracy Murray with another, another three. Down to Strickland. How about the, the, one number, guard. the one guard goes down and just takes it one-on-one. -on -one. Pretty simple play. Strickland had to give it up. Good defense by Delk. Murray's three, though, right through. And Tracy Murray with 19 points. This season high is 26. He's the one guy that cannot give help. If you're matched up on Murray, and that's where Fuller is, you can't give help. Murray with the runner right to the three. Todd gave him too much room. This time he took him off the dribble. Or vice versa. Well, you can do it both ways. Court, and he didn't go back. I don't know. Marshall with a steal. Gets it to Delk and back to Danielle. The reverse layup was partially blocked by Murray and out of it. Warriors unable to convert. Now what happened on this? Danielle did not take the easy side. He came back right. Smith, 10 of 13, 20 points. Warriors down to 42, 40. A three by Tracy Murray is good. That's his third of the game. That's four overall for Washington. He's already got 24 here in the first half. Well, the Warriors are scattered defensively. Whitney just hit a three-pointer a moment ago, so he gets challenged. And this time, Joe Smith. Pass that Ben Wallace easily overplayed. Here's Tracy Murray, steps back for the three, dropped it in. Murray, his season high, already done in the first half. He's got 27. His career high is 40. It's no shot. Warriors' entire backcourt decimated. Joe Smith on the baseline, cross court to Danielle Marshall. Top of the key, had it knocked away by Strickland. No look pass. It's a race between Tracy Murray and Dickie Simpkins. Murray behind the back and dunked it home. The Warriors. Here's the, now the first one with Rod Strickland. Blind over the top. Dickie Simpkins ran by. Thought he Smith with the block on one end, finished on the other. Joe's got all the Warrior points this quarter. 62-55 Washington. Eric Dampier for the Warriors. 71-64 Washington on top. Strickland in the lane, gave it up to Murray, top of the key, quick catch. Had a nine-point lead going into the fourth quarter against San Antonio a week ago. Warriors down seven, entering the fourth here, Tracy Murray. But the Warriors were outscored 28 to 10, so they can go through those droughts. Tony Dell trying to get it inside to Todd Fuller, who dropped the ball, and Murray on the breakout to lay it up and out. It was, in fact, uh, just about a year ago again. Todd Fuller to start the fourth quarter. It's way more time the Warriors have to operate. Strickland brings it down in the fourth quarter. Two-man game with Murray, and Murray for two. Will it go in? Yes. So Murray with 39. Pump. No, not while the ball was in the air. Chris Whitney, body at the top of the key, gets it to Tracy Murray. Dwayne Farrell's on him to try to cool him off. Remember, Murray scored six points to be open this quarter. His jumper over Farrell is right through. And a streak shooter, Tracy Murray, welcome to your career high. He now has 41. Need a hoop, cut up to single digits. And then Joe's not worried about the career high. There's a turnover by Del Tony Dell. Fell down, threw it away. Tracy Murray with the easy. Albert Cheney on the left wing. 
Looking to set up Tracy Murray. Spins around Terrell and he took advantage tonight. And you got him seven from the foul line. He's Lamont Murray's cousin in case you're wondering. There's a little bit of time now. Five minutes remaining in the game, 91-78. Wizards up 13, Tracy Murray again, turn around over Tony Dell. Murray's got 47. Here, get out of here with a victory. Warriors at 51 points at halftime. Only 78 now with 415, and Murray with 49 from the left baseline. So right now, Murray's just going he went around Pharrell. He went up and only over Tony Delk from the right baseline. This last time, he went up and over Tony. Had a big fight with him earlier in the year, but I thought that was pretty Murray's the got it, it on the left wing with Simpkins on him, holding 22 feet, and he's fouled. Dickie Simpkins fouls him. Well, the Warriors are 26-year-old. Already with the career high, which was 40 at 49 points to shoot the free throw. He missed it. Murray missed it. A chance for the half century mark. Murray, very deliberate. The second offering. It's good. And that's your Warriors replay. Again. And Bill Spooner will say he pushed off as Tracy Murray is mobbed on the Wizards bench by Jawan Howard, by Chris Weber. Bernie Bickerstaff has sent in the subs. Lawrence Moten, who was just signed, Darvin Ham, Harvey Grants. Now let's talk about Tracy Murray because he came very close to the franchise record, which is 56 by Earl Monroe. Got 14. It's almost like the All-Star game now because there was no defense, so Tony Delk's points really counting as an individual, but just making the score a little closer. Well, a lot of Warrior fans came to see Chris Webber and Juwan Howard and ended up watching Tracy Murray pump in 50 points as the Washington Wizards beat the Warriors 99-87. Jim and I will come back and wrap it up right after this.